thank you for coming up today my old subscribers thank you and to those that are viewing for the first time or that have not subscribed please click on the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified each time we upload a new video and to my new subscribers thank you for subscribing please do not forget to hit on the like button this is very funny but at the same time very serious a woman in a bid to sneak on her husband landed herself in a very big trap i'm going to also leave the video behind so that you would see exactly what i am talking about right after the conversation the next will be the video and it's also been captured the moment this woman who went to sneak and get her husband red-handed while she claimed the husband was cheating on her unfortunately for this woman she got trapped with burglar bars and you know these bars how they can be it depends on your size before you can pass through there but she now attempted going into the house through that burglar bars in a bid to catch her husband red-handed because she suspected that the man has been cheating on her all along and the only way she can actually prove that was to get him in the act but the woman you would see her in the video that i'm going to leave behind she is already trapped in between the bars of the gate while she was trying to sneak into the house where she claimed that her husband was with another woman unfortunately the size of her own body hindered her from passing through successfully she went halfway but halfway you could see she was trapped they even had to now call on the welder to come and rescue her out of that place the only way for them to rescue her is to cut those bars otherwise this woman will be stuck there and there is no way else she can't come back and she can't go forward that is how bad this whole thing was and she had to cry for help and screaming forcing her husband to even come out of the house and that was when they eventually called the weather to use his tools to cut the bars of the gates so that she can actually come out from that trap right now it has become failed mission for this woman and you can see that even if this man was actually cheating how would she have found out there was just no way because whatever proof she was going to find even if there was another woman she might have gone through the back door or through any other means aside from where this woman was trapped and it's very funny when you see this video it's really funny you can see the woman they're still screaming and the guy that is welding is there cutting out those bars so that she can come out it's always good to have proof when you are saying things not to accuse people falsely but how you get this proof matter a whole lot all right look at now she went to endanger herself thanks be to god it's not her neck that got stopped otherwise what would she have done how would she have screamed with her neck stuck she can move forward and backwards thank god it didn't get to that point but where she got trapped is not a life-threatening position that she can't be able to survive it and good a thing she had screamed and so the husband came out there and now saw her and that was where she couldn't hold back but to say exactly what she was doing why she got trapped there if you are cheating if you're out there you are cheating please it's funny to say this but make it easy for your wife so that she wouldn't have to go through burglar bars and get trapped there or she wouldn't have to sneak in on you through some holes and then she will get trapped in that hole and at the end of the day the mission of this particular woman was just a failed mission she didn't achieve her purpose she ended up almost hurting herself it's always good that when you are saying things you know what you're talking about so avoid a situation where someone will stand and say you are accusing me 
falsely. Guys, watching at this video, I would also like you to please make your own comments. Do you think it was right for this woman to actually spy on her husband? And do you think that she deserved being trapped there? If you look at it critically, some people would rather prefer that they have everything at the palms of their hands. So when they are speaking, people would believe them. And some people believe that you don't accuse people falsely when you have not gotten any proof. And that was the quest for this wife who tried to ensure she gets her husband red-handed before she can falsely or make any allegation or accuse him of anything. Husbands out there that are cheating, please make things easy for your wife. Don't get them to trap themselves. It's better you leave all those women out there alone and face your own home, face your wives at home. And it goes to the woman also. Probably she may be wrong. Her husband may not even be cheating in the first place and she would have ended up hurting herself in a very terrible way because you are making allegation against somebody and then in the end, what if all of these allegations were false? And you think if she had hurt herself, anybody would blame the man? They will still blame the woman. And it's except the man has a sympathetic heart that he would be willing to even take care of her. Otherwise, some men will say, you brought this upon yourself, so deal with it in some situations. But at the same time, the woman's curiosity of not drawing into conclusion or jumping into conclusions her, about her husband cheating on her had led her to carry out an act like this. It, it is always good one to get evidence so that you don't open up your mouth and start saying things that are not true about people. It's always good for you to be sure of what you are saying so that you don't go out there and then destroy other people's name or tarnish other people's image, all because of what you feel. A lot of people have destroyed their fellow human being or destroyed their husbands or their wives because they went out there making allegations that were never true or allegations that never existed. In some situations, you find out that a man will now raise an alarm or a woman will raise an alarm that the husband or the wife is cheating. And the next thing you may see in-laws will pop in or some will go and hire thugs to come and beat up the person. Some people have lost their lives all because people have laid false allegations against the next person. And then you will now go and call people. Angry people will come and hit up the person, beat the person some, they even beat them to the point they can't even breathe anymore. And at the end, you come to find out that all of this were false. You would live the rest of your life with regret and you can't turn the hands of time. Even though, yes, this woman, she all she wanted was to ensure that she gets her husband red-handed. It's a good thing, but you should be careful at the same time when you're trying to spy on your spouse whom you feel he or she is cheating on you weigh your options very well and be sure of the kind of decision you want to make if the route you're trying to take is the best route for you to take this woman she just risked her own life because if it was those bars that has those sharp edges it will cut her through because where she's passing her size can't even go through that place. It was just too big. It was just too small for her. And so as a result of that, she would have just endangered her own life. So please, people be, should be very careful at the same time when you are taking up a quest or a mission to prove a point. In as much as you want to prove your point, don't go to the extreme because you may end up hurting yourself and at the end you would lose at both ends. You will hurt yourself and the evidence you're trying to get, you wouldn't get that evidence. Don't be bent on, I must get this person red-handed, I must expose this person. 
once you have made up your mind in a very strong way and you're ready to go to any length, you may end up hurting your own self. And at the end, what you have planned to do, you wouldn't even achieve it. So at the it's going to look like you only wasted your time and try to even hurt or harm your own self. When you have a feeling that your spouse or your partner is cheating on you, some of these men would openly tell you, once you confront them in a nice way, not confronting them and shouting at them and all of that, some would openly tell you that, they have been cheating on you. I would ask for your forgiveness. And then some, most men would never agree that they are cheating on their wives. Most men, even those that are cheating, until you get them red-handed, which is what this wife was trying to do. But why cheat on your spouse? When you have made up your mind to spend the rest of your life with one person, what's the point of going out there again to follow another man or to follow another woman. It goes both ways. Nobody has the right to cheat. So long as you are married, you don't have the right. It's not your right anymore. It is not your right. If you were even dating somebody, it's still not a right for you to cheat on your spouse. You don't cheat on people that you have professed love to. Or you have told them you want to spend the rest of their, your lives with them. Or people you're already living with as a husband or as a wife. And then you go ahead and cheat on the same people. It's really hurting. And some people have even led their spouse to hurt themselves. Some women would decide that they would even harm themselves because they felt their husband, whom they trusted so much, has let them down. Please, if you're out there, whether a man or a woman, husband or wife, and you are cheating on your spouse, desist from it. Because sometimes, either the man or the woman who has now made up their minds to follow their spouse or to monitor them, some of them end up endangering their own lives just in the quest to catch their spouse red-handed in the act. It's a different situation when you are just sneaking into a room and walking, but having to go through some kind of stunts like this woman was pulling now, she would have just lost her own life in the process of trying to spy on her husband. And it would be worse if maybe her husband wasn't even cheating on her. That's why people should be very careful. Whatever decision you want to make in the quest for you to ensure that you have your proof, Weigh those options very well and be sure that you're not endangering your own life as well. It doesn't pay for anybody to cheat on their spouse. That's why dialogue is always very important. Discuss with your spouse how you're feeling and what is happening. There it will be easier for you people to work on your marriage than cheating on your spouse. Friends, right after this conversation, the next video you're going to see is this trapped wife and how the welder had come to her own rescue. And whatever you think about this, please, you can put it down. Was it okay for her to go and spy on her husband? And the risk she took, do you think it was worth it? Please, you could leave your comments at the comment section. Friends, please don't forget to hit on the like button. Also, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified each time we upload a new video. Thank you. God bless you all.